this is take two. Making sure we can't see the toothpaste on my shirt. So I didn't think it was that noticeable, but apparently it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Take two. Okay. Is that good? I think this is good. Okay. I think we're good. Um, my mom is yelling, so sorry if you can hear that. I don't know why I'm so nervous to do this. I guess I haven't talked to you guys in a really long time. Also, um, how is this whole quarantine thing treating you? Because my nails are so bad. So bad. And my hair, I guess it's not that bad, but my roots are growing out. And seriously, it's not good. It's not good, people. Is this too close? I think it's fine. They should do this. Hmm, different. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been literally forever. Um, today we're gonna be talking about my everyday makeup routine. So, I'm gonna list all the products in the down bar below, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And now we're gonna get started. Okay, so first things first, we need to prep. So I have my little makeup bag right in front of me with all my essential things in it. We need to clip this hair back. Okay, good. Second step. Um, so this is like one of my newest obsessions. This is the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. And I got this for Christmas from Mel. And I mean, like, I know it's a sleepy mask, but I wear it all the time. Like, what is it, March? Um, I got this in December. Like, I've already put a dent in this. I swear by this stuff, it's so good. You guys, seriously, you need to go get it. So I put it on just to prep my lips, just to keep them moisturized. It's just a mask and this is the berry scent like looking at you guys I could just so I have my hair right here that's really what I should be using but it's a lip mask so it really doesn't matter it's long because it's on those lips so it comes with like a little um I don't know, spatula type thing, which is nice. So you don't have to put your fingers in there, which A, is not very hygienic, and B, if you have nails on like I do, then all the product just gets stuck under your nail and it's like the most annoying thing ever, seriously. Okay, so now that my hair is pulled back, our lips are ready, we're gonna go in with primer. And the primer that I have been currently using is the Mary Kay what is this called? It's just the foundation primer. It has sunscreen in it, um, SPF 15. And I love this stuff because it feels like so silky smooth. And I really feel like it fills in all the cracks and crevices and it's hydrating. So I have oily skin, like super oily skin, but I still like to use a primer that is hydrating because even if you have oily skin you still should be like moisturizing and everything and a lot of the times like skin is oily because you don't use enough moisturizer I move it all the way down my neck like all over my face um, if you don't use enough moisturizer your skin will overproduce oil because your skin thinks it's dry um, and so that's why you're super oily so moisturizing can actually combat excess oil Okay, so that's on. Most people let it sit in, like sink in your skin. I just go in for it. So next we're going to use, this is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I think it's just the, I think it's just called foundation. I don't know. This is what the bottle looks like. I love the packaging. I love that it's a glass bottle. It has a pump and it came with the pump. You did not have to pay extra for the pump. 
and I'm in the shade 160 C so I use like two pumps of this I just squirt it on the back of my hand and this is the Morphe I think it's the contour and define sponge I swear by this sponge you guys seriously it's so good so I used to love beauty blender like I still do I would still use beauty blender however beauty blender is like 20 bucks and this little bad boy is like seven dollars so like it's just you know it works just as good sometimes sponges are like too stiff and i like them to be like super bouncy so i'm just gonna bounce this into my skin and yes this is the luminous one however i like to be dewy and glowy and we're gonna set everything with powder anyway so it's not like in your face luminous it's kind of just like a natural look and i would say this is like medium to full coverage so it's not going to be like first cover for what it's not going to be full coverage right off the bat but it is definitely buildable into full coverage and two pumps is like the perfect amount for me and then you're going to make sure that you're blending it down your neck so that you know we're all matching here so I don't wear makeup every day like on days where I just have class and sorority I probably won't wear makeup um but on days that I have to go to work or whatever this is my current go-to routine so see what I mean like it's not super full coverage like you can still see um like some of my skirt I'm peeking through or whatever but I think it's just like a natural nice finish and I think that the color matches me pretty well too so I've been loving that foundation lately now that foundation is done the next step we need to set our face so this is the Too Faced Born This Way powder um the ethereal setting powder and this is in the shade translucent i have made a dent in this but i'm like obsessed with this powder so it comes with like a little sifter on the top and then it has like a little cover to keep it all contained which i super appreciate so i just like tap it into the cap okay a little bit not a lot then I'm going to take this brush. This is from EcoTools. I think it's just a powder brush. And I'm going to dip it into my little cover. I'm going to tap off the excess, watch it all fall. And then, so I like to pat my powder. And I make sure to go over the eyelids. I don't really like wear concealer unless I'm doing a full coverage like look. But on a daily basis, I don't wear concealer. Because honestly, like, I don't notice that big of a difference. But maybe that's just me. I mean, I definitely do have dark circles. But I just don't wear a concealer on the daily. And most of the times I'm, like, you know, kind of rushing to get out the door. So, like, the less products, the better. Okay. But this powder is great because it is like a skin perfecting powder, I feel like. It doesn't like look cakey on the skin at all. It just sets everything really nicely. It is kind of messy. That's like the one bad thing about it, but I love this powder. We need to bronze our skin. So I have been loving my Chicathon palette lately. I think this is the first one that Benefit came out with. Um, and as you can see, like I have used and abused this thing. Um, I actually have another one on backup. So it was on sale at Ulta. I'm just taking the shade Hula. And we're going to do some bronzing. Um, I had to buy a new one because my Hula is almost out. So the Benefit Cheekathon palette was on sale at, um, not Ulta. Did I say Ulta? Sephora. Also, there's no rhyme or reason to the way I bronze. I just kind of put it like on my cheeks and then I do 
like my forehead and I kind of just stamp it on there and then I go back in and blend it all out. Okay, so anyway, back to my story. Um, <laughs> so I was just gonna buy like a normal Hoola bronzer because you know, what's the point of buying like a whole palette if you just need one of the shades? So I ended up going to Sephora and they had the Chicathon palette like on sale for $45 and it was the last one left and it was in the blush squad I think I don't know but I ended up getting that because it was cheaper than buying um like just the hula bronzer by itself so I kind of got a good deal and it also has like different shades that I don't necessarily have in this one like some of them are the same but some of them are different and I know they like update it every so often so I don't know if they're coming out with a new one and that's why that one was on clearance, but I snagged it up for sure. Um, so I just put a little bronzer on my nose as well. And then sometimes I'll just take my brush and like go down my neck. But you wanna put your bronzer like where the sun would naturally hit your face. So if you think about it, it would be like your nose, your forehead, your cheeks. Like if you're out in the sun, if you wanna look natural, where's your bronzer gonna go? Okay, and then going in for blush, we're gonna go back into the Chicathon palette and Dandelion used to be my all-time favorite blush, like seriously. Um, I hit pan on that one. But lately I've been into Rocketeur and I think this is a baked blush because just the way it like comes off the, where is it? Um, just the way it comes off. I don't know how to explain it, but on my brush it just feels a little different. So we're going in with Rocketeur and I'm just taking this Morphe brush. I have no idea which one this is, but it's angled and so I really like to use it for my cheeks. And then I kind of just smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. And I kind of go heavy on the blush because it's like the first thing on me that wears off throughout the day. So like, I'm never worried about going crazy on the blush because I love it. Okay, and then sometimes I'll just take whatever's left on my brush and go down my nose as well, just to add some more color to the center of my face. Okay, easy. Okay, so now that we have the blush on, we're gonna go in and do brows. And I use two products for my brows. Oh, they were just in my hand. Okay. The first product, you guys have seen me use this like over and over and over again. It seriously is my favorite. Um, yeah, so this is just the Total Temptation Brow Definer from Maybelline. And I use the shade 300 Blonde. So this is nice because it has a spoolie on one side. It's drugstore priced. And when we get to doing like filling in the brows, I'll show you what the tip of the pencil looks like. So I kind of just spoolie through my brows first. Um, don't mind my brows also, they need to be done. But you know what, quarantine. And all the salons are closed, so we're kind of just rocking with what we've got. Okay, so now that we have spoolied through, we're gonna take the other side of it. So it's like, it's just so nice that has a spoolie built right into it. So it's one last thing you have to like carry around. Um, but this is, this is what the tip looks like. So I'm just gonna put that in that hand. Um, it's angled and I just love that. I think it fills in my brows so nicely and it's more natural than like a really skinny pencil cause that can get like really, I don't know how to explain it, but like unnatural liney looking, like you can really tell. So I like the angled and I just feel like it does a good job. And for the drugstore, like you can't go wrong. Like I really think this is a good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Definer. And if you've watched my channel before, like you know how many times I love this pencil. I've been using it for years now. Now we have the brows for that. I'm gonna go back in with my spoolie and just kind of comb through them just to make sure that everything is kind of blended. 
Then we're going to set the brows with the brow gel. So I really love the Mary Kay one. Um, it's tinted. That's the one that I've been using. Ran out of that. So this is just the Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel. Um, it's just a clear brow gel. It doesn't really do much. The spoolie on this thing is like bigger than the Mary Kay one, which I don't love. But it's clear, so it's not like you're really, if you mess up, you know, it's not like you're going to have color where you shouldn't have color. But I'm just going to spoolie through my brows just to make sure they are set in place. Okay, good. So brows are on. The next step we're going to do is highlighter. And I tend to go crazy on my highlighter, but I love to be glowy. And once we set the face, it's just going to all come together and melt in. For highlighter, I'm using this one from Milani. Um, I've used this before. So this is the shade Strobe Light. It's an instant glow powder. And I like this because on the back of it, it like tells you, I don't know if that's picking up my camera, but it tells you like all the places to put it. So it's really beginner friendly. And I'm gonna take this Real Techniques setting brush and use this. So this is like a setting brush for under your eyes, but I like it for highlighter. I used to use a fan brush, but for some reason I like this just cause it's smaller and more condensed. It really works nicely. The reason I do my brows before I do my highlighter is because I like to highlight my brow bone and I feel like if you do your brows first and then you highlight your brow bone, it all just kind of, you know, it works out better. Your brows are already in shape um, versus highlighting and then doing your eyebrows. It's going to maybe like screw up your brow bone highlight. So I always do brows before highlighter. So I'm just going to dip into this and I'm going to start on my cheekbone. So I do like circular motions back towards my hairline and like I seriously go overboard. <laughs> but I love highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna take it down. You're not supposed to highlight the tip of your nose because it makes your nose look bigger, but I do it anyway because I don't really care. So I start like in between my eyebrows and then I just go down like the bridge of my nose. But then I take a little bit and just right on that tip and then I'll kind of take it and like go on my forehead too really softly okay then I'm take a little bit put it under my eyebrows oh I love that I love how that looks okay we're gonna do the same on the other side and then last but not least I'm gonna highlight my lip area so I do my upper lip right in that cupid's bow and then I'm gonna do under my lip as well and sometimes I'll go back in and add a little bit more but I just I love highlighter like in the worst way it's probably not good but there are worse things to love. So highlighter is done. Now we're gonna go in and set the face. So I set my face with setting spray before I do my mascara because sometimes if you do your mascara and then set your whole face, like your mascara won't dry and then you have to like wait for it to dry. It's gonna get a, like around your eyes or whatever. And like your setting spray isn't really gonna help your mascara that much anyway. So I always set and then I do my mascara. And today we're going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Again, if you guys have watched me before, you know how obsessed I am with this. This is like hands down the best setting spray I've ever used in my whole entire life. Like, it's amazing. Um, it's Morphe, so it's relatively cheap. I think it's like $17 a bottle. It lasts me a long time. Um, it's an aerosol, like, but the mist is so fine. Mm. It smells good and it really just like works to melt your makeup all together. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Give it a second to get on there. And then we're going to go back in with our Morphe sponge. And I'm just going to press everything in together. So I learned this trick from 
a Jaclyn Hill video actually. So she took her sponge and just patted everything in after she set her face. And I think that helps just to like make sure that everything is blended together and it helps your setting spray to really like sink into your skin. Oh, we have set our face. We can go in and do mascara. Um, don't mind my eyelash curler. It's really nasty and I need to get a new one, but I will not put on mascara without curling my lashes and I will show you the difference. So I'm going to take my eyelash curler. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this one I just curled and this one I haven't curled yet. So I think it makes a world of difference just to lift those lashes up. And then when you put your mascara on, your lashes are going to stay curled like that. So if you haven't started curling your eyelashes, you need to start. Oh, I just think that looks so good. Okay, so lashes are curled. Obviously, you guys just saw that. I layer my mascaras, so I have two different ones that we're going to use today. Um, if I'm like really trying to get out the door quick and I don't really like care, then I will just use one mascara. So the first step in my mascara routine is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I love this stuff to lengthen your lashes. So on days where I like really just need to get out the door, like I really just want long lashes, thin, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but on days where I have a little bit more time, then I go in and do the Damn Girl from Too Faced. Um, and this really volumizes. So when you guys see the brush tips on these, you're going to understand kind of what the difference is between the two. So first we're going to take the Bad Girl Bang. Bad Gal Bang. Yeah. This is what the brush tip looks like. So it's really long and thin. And this really helps to just elongate those lashes. Okay, so this is one side with the bad girl bang. Bad gal bang? I'm going to just call it bad girl bang. Um, one side with that, and this is the side without anything on it. So as you can see the difference, it really just lengthens the lashes. So I'm going to go in and do the other side. Okay, so now that I have both eyes done on the top, I'm just going to take whatever's left on my brush and like shimmy shake it on my bottom lashes. The one thing about these two mascaras is that they're both very like wet, I guess. So you have to be careful because it's very easy for them to like get on the top of your lid or even like I just messed up and like right on my nose. Um, but it comes off super easy with Q-tip. So there's really nothing to worry about with that. It's just a little wet. So you kind of have to let the first layer dry a little bit before we go in with the second layer. Otherwise, it's just going to be a big mess. First coat of mascara has dried. We're going to go in with our second coat. Um... And like I said, this is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So let me show you the tip on this mascara because it is pretty intense. So this is what it looks like. That is why it is good for volumizing because it is so fat. So um, we're gonna go in and apply this. Okay, so I have it on this eye and can you guys see the difference? It's a lot more like volumized over here as where this is just like lengthened. So that's why I use both because I like long and volumized lashes. Okay, so we're gonna go in and do the other side. And I only do the bad girl bang on the bottom lashes um, just because it's easier to get down there with a littler brush. So, okay, you guys, and that is my whole everyday makeup routine. So I will for sure list all the products in the description box below so you guys can find them. And yeah, I think that's everything I have to tell you guys. Um, comment down below what your favorite quarantine like activities are. Like what are you guys spending your time doing? Like I have been crafting a lot and I've been watching a lot of Netflix. So let me know what you guys are up to and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for watching.